Yo, what's up guys? This is African Traveler and uh, today I want to share with you an incident I had me this week. So um, I was traveling, I was heading somewhere to visit a friend and uh, while traveling there I decided to do some shopping at uh, Garden City Mall. Garden City Mall is one of the biggest mall uh, in this part of uh, Africa. Actually, if not wrong, I think after village, after two rivers, I think it's the second biggest in Kenya. So I got there, did some shopping, and while I w was going out, uh, the mall is really beautiful. Some really beautiful shops around, and uh, a good crowd also visit the shop. So I decided to shoot. You know, I thought, let me. I've never done this mall, and uh, let me just take a photo. Let me take a video of the mall and share as, as I normally do. So I did some round around the mall and uh, while I was trying to go and check out, some two security guards came to me and said, uh, we've seen you taking some photos and videos and it's not allowed. Tell them, I told them yes and I told them I didn't see where it's written, no photos or videos allowed. And what they told me is, yes, we allow photos. You can come with the team and take photos but videos is not allowed so so before you leave you like to see the video that you took and I, I was very you know I had no bad intent so I showed them and uh, they saw most of the videos didn't capture my face and said this is really wrong for for, for, an, for a stranger to take photos of the shop of the mall without the consent of the management so they asked me if I had uh, requested consent of the mall to take the photos and I told them no and uh, when they take a photo, they told me uh, we have to do some investigation to just to, dig, to understand better. And um, I had bad, int I had no bad intent. So we proceeded to is a security. The mall has a security company that they have an office where they can do the interrogation and stuff. So when they went there. Yeah, there's a big team like uh, no probably these are terrorists and stuff and uh, actually the reason they're really tough is because of the terrorist threat around the country and um, they checked so they asked me the reason for the footage and I told them I am I'm a young I'm a small youtuber and uh, I showcase people the good side of our country and uh, that's why he was taking the videos so I showed them my other videos on the channel and uh, just because of that, they called the national police. They told me, uh, you are the guys who are giving us to the uh, Al-Shabaab because they saw videos of, you know, around Nairobi in some few malls and said, no, this is a risk and this is beyond us. So they took us, they called the Kasarani. So inside the mall, there's a police a unit that, uh, and, no, help handle them. Like in, I, th I think it's in almost all the malls you have national police so they call the police the police has my ID they try to dig in and understand why I really tried my best to explain the reason why I take videos around the country and uh, we could not agree like uh, they're saying the police came with the same mentality that you guys are giving us away to the Al-Shabaab and I told them no this is just to showcase the beauty side of our country you know the reason why Al-Shabaab if if we keep showing the images images of our country of the you know the floods you know the the hunger killing people you know the slums we need to show people the other side and uh, it could not make sense so they took me to Kasarani Stadium Police Station and uh, actually this is not my first time I was I got arrested I was uh, also got in, arrested by security but they let me go in another place. Uh, for doing the same sh uh, for the, do, doing the same thing so the reason why I'm sharing today is because uh, this went to another level because uh, they called police for me and uh, police told me the same thing so they took me to the police Kasarani police station where they did um, further investigation you know to understand if I'm linked to Al-Shabaab and uh, I called some few friends of mine and uh, trust me if it was not for the friends who came or who intervened, I think it will not be the same, probably I'll still be locked uh, locked up at the police station. So the police had the same mentality, they were telling me, stop this, you, you can't keep showing the better side of our country. When you show the better side of our country, it, it attracts 
the terrorist. And I try to argue with them, you know, like I know like in different countries, especially the well-to-do countries where you find guys taking photos in front of the presidential uh, palace or presidential, you know, like the White House. I see a lot of photos guys taking in front of the White House. And if you ask me uh, the country that uh, an area that people would like, uh, terrorists around the world would like to bomb, is the White House. And the other thing I try to argue with them is terrorists will not use a video only. It's not something they cannot do 100%, but if you check our terrorists that have attacked Kenya who have supported the terrorism activity in the country, most of them are actually even locals. Actually, they're, they're, almost all the terrorist activities that have happened in Kenya have been supported by locals. Not even local Somalis, local other tribes. For them to attack a mall in the country, they wouldn't really depend on a video shot. Because my video is not like a one full video like around the mall. It's something that I, sh I, take, I take this angle, I take this angle and I connect. So for terrorists, they will need to know all the entry points, all the exit points. And that, uh, those are things that we don't even mention on, uh, on, uh, on our videos. And I, I want you guys to understand that... Um, if I if I've been take if I could have been taking most of these videos on foot, I would have been arrested more than ten times in the country, especially the good side. Because around Kibera there are so many tourists. The tour Islam tourism is really big, and the the, the tourists come and take photos of you know small children, uh, ladies uh, uh, washing clothes and uh, clothes, people selling you know. And it, it, it reached some extent, uh, the residents of Kibera were complaining that uh, their privacy is, in be, is being infringed. But in such an area, no police will, uh, will, will, will arrest anyone for taking such photos of bad, you know, of the condition of people living in a slum. If, if you see places where floods are, if you see places where hunger is killing people, no one is stopping people to take photos. But you go, go to high-end areas of Nairobi or in the country and you can't even shoot two minutes before you're being caught. The only advantage I have is I drive and I have like a, a dashboard cam which really helps. But I want you guys to understand that in Africa it's really, really hard to support or promote the good side of the country. And... Uh, I've seen so many of the YouTubers uh, complaining about being arrested wherever they go around Africa. And this is the reason. You know, there's so many ways for security to handle this, but not to avoid, to prevent people from shooting or promoting the good side of the country. It doesn't even make sense. You know, it's like when we have terrorism, it's like they stopped everything in the country, you know. We cannot talk about the good side. When you watch right now news, I hate news. Because our news is just full of calamities, disaster, problem, you know. For them, they say that is what sells. And for us, people like me, who, who want to show the other side, are not, we don't find it easy at all. So after the interrogation, the police uh, um, really understood. They let me go. They didn't charge me a thing a dime, so which is a good thing. But uh, my whole day went like that. Because the, the whole process took like five hours, you know. From the time I was in first court and until the last, the time I was let to go. And uh, it, it kept me thinking, you know. You know, if we, if we Africans can't really promote our country, who will it? Because when tourists come here, they can't, especially those from well-to-do countries, they're not interested with things like the city, the skyscrapers, they have better than this. They're not interested with uh, people living in high-end areas, they have the same in their, in their, in their areas. So what, what interests them is mostly the tourists, uh, the, the slum tourism, the animal, the animal parks, those, that is what interests them. And I can't blame them. So, 
it's upon us and it's upon the government to let us promote the good side. Because uh, if, if I believe if, if it was not for my friends, all my videos would have been deleted by the police because I keep saying that I'm selling the country to the terrorist. And it didn't really make sense to me. So, yeah, I apologize for taking uh, the photos on the mall without their permission. But I also asked, do they give permission? They told me they don't give permission. They don't even allow. So it's something that I will never shoot again. But um, my spirit is not going down. I'm still going to push for this. Probably some days and people will see the sense in what we do. Countries around the world, France has been attacked several times and France has the biggest tourism in the, tourist in the world. Number of tourists visiting France has, is, the world, is the highest in the world, but I'm sure, I, I, I don't know, but I don't think that prevents people from now exploring the same areas. So I hope this will change and I hope uh, the future will, still, uh, will open more brain and uh, ideas in our security guys and um yeah from me yeah just leave a comment mm, leave a like and uh share your ideas i don't think if uh for me i don't think it's the best way to prevent security infringement in the country and uh if you have another idea please share and uh peace out